Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. This is the 43rd episode in the vlog marathon for changelings in the run-up to the crowdfunding on April 21st, 2019. Uh, today I want to talk about my schedule change. I finally managed to break my schedule. I got up at 6 a.m. this morning and the goal was to do some writing, mainly on the sizzle, and I was able to do it, except the only problem was <laughs> I was only able to write about four sentences, so I had about an hour of uh, time to work today on any given project I wanted, and, and this morning it was the sizzle, and I got about one sentence written every 15 minutes. It was embarrassing. It is embarrassing. We all know that writing can be really difficult, especially when you don't have your coffee, and I think that was my fatal mistake this morning. Um, but I, either way, it worked out. I was able to get the, uh, I'm, able, I'm slowly getting my schedule restarted and I'm hoping that getting up at 6 a.m. becomes a somewhat, a much more regular thing and I'm able to accomplish a lot more for changelings because uh, things have slowed down a little bit lately and I think it's because of the commute. But uh, if I get up a little bit earlier, I have time to, to uh, move this project forward when I have my full attention. In other news, me posting to Steemit has been growing the money that I need for changelings incrementally. I've been getting, uh, on average now, about $1.20, $1.50 a post, which is about uh, five or six times the amount I was getting last time. The value of Steam has gone up. Uh, it's doubled since I started posting, but the rewards I've been getting have quadrupled or quintupled. I've been getting some more followers, and I've gotten a couple really powerful followers as far as Steam power goes. So I've gotten some, I think they're called Dolphins, on the network, so um, a couple of really heavy hitters have started following me and they've been supporting the project with not every post, but most posts that I've been making. Uh, so big thanks to Namix out there. And I'm up to over $100 for the uh, $17,000 goal just by posting to the Steam network, so that's kind of cool. Other than that, I've been able to get a couple of these side projects off my plate, namely a couple of treatments for features that there's been some interest in. So I needed to get those done. They've been really bogging me down, and I wanted to thank Mark Gonzalez, my writing partner, for finishing out one of the other ones. I just didn't have time to do it, but now that we've got a rough draft uh, from him, I'm going to do some revisions on that this week and get it completely off my plate. The other one uh, for the treatment, 96 miles, totally done, off to the uh, publication house. We'll see what happens with that. So that's been keeping me bogged down. It's been weighing on my mind. And uh, now that those are off my plate, I feel a lot more room to maneuver in my mind for getting more of Changelings done. And uh, speaking of getting more work on Changelings done, the work I did this morning, the four sentences that I wrote, had to do with the sizzle. Uh, the sizzle is nearing completion, but it definitely needs more of a thread. So I've got to work in a bit of a story, maybe a monologue, maybe a scene between two people just sitting down having a talk. I don't know, but I'm trying to work with that fun cosmic horror language where the mysteries are so deep and profound and what's coming is so awful and evil that it, it defies human comprehension. So I'm excited about that. Um, it was fun trying to think of that fun dialogue. Obviously very Lovecraftian dialogue where we talk about the abominations that exist in, in the beyond. You know, these sort of fun, vague terms that evoke a feeling of something terrible and much larger than yourself, but really you're able to transpose a lot of what you think it means onto it. Uh, and so that's a lot of fun. And t it, that's what's really fun about cosmic horror is that it, it simultaneously has shape and not shape. The, the creatures in them have form but not form. I like how the language, at least as far as I can tell, seems to embody that same thing. We use lots of adjectives to describe the creatures that we see, but they're just not quite encapsulatable by words. So when Lovecraft uses the word like abomination or five-starred head, I mean, it looks funny in my head. It could just be a sp like a spindly stick with a giant starfish on its head, or it could look something much more like a flower. I mean, these descriptions aren't exact, and so I like that. I like how they're they're described as horrible, but also beautiful. A lot of the creatures are often described like that. They just break the human psyche down. So I like how the language sort of fits into that a, lot, a little bit, and I've been trying to work that into the sizzle. So that's what I was doing this morning. I was trying to come up with a scene or a monologue, just really thinking through how the language works in this cosmic horror, especially the older stuff. Because I like, I like that stuff. But, you know, as a first draft, I think that'll be a good way to go. But, you know, who knows in subsequent drafts. I'd probably just abandon it all to, to go with something much more modern and succinct. But anyways, that's, that's it. Um, that's, that's me. Uh, what can I say? Those are the updates for tonight. I'm going to work on getting the rest of the sizzle done and out the door so that I can start shooting it maybe this weekend even. And at the latest, by early next week. 
All right, that's it, everybody. Have a great night. Thanks for checking in back on Changelings here on YouTube and Steemit, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.